Hey, bring a trailer. Good morning. Today we're looking at a very, very nice final year one owner 89.560SL. And I haven't bought a 560SL in quite a long time. I've looked at plenty and uh, the, cr the crop that's out there lately has been just not very good quality stuff a lot of low mileage cars that are in bad condition a lot of high mileage cars that are in bad condition so when I was offered this one I was a bit skeptical but I went out to look at it at the guy's storage area got the background story on it which I'll tell you here in a moment and uh, decided this was definitely a really really special car um, I've bought and sold probably over 100 560 SLs and uh, I've maybe had two or three that were one owners and when he told me it was one owner and we discussed the service history, um, the fact that it was dealer serviced its entire life um, up until 03 where it went to an independent Mercedes-Benz only service center and the fact that every single service record from new was available and in a binder um, the paint is phenomenal it's been polished uh, and ceramic coated so it has the ceramic coating and it is as close to possible or I'm sorry as close to perfect condition as I've ever had in a 560 SL um, perfect is not a word that I really like to use even on a two-year-old car Yikes, sounds like we need brakes on the municipal trash truck. Um, but when I look the car over, underneath, inside, outside, it was pretty apparent to me that this car was kept to a super high standard. Um, everything down to the windshield being original. Clean though. Yeah, it's clean, yes sir, thank you. And, uh, you know, the, 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 the condition of the car, you can see the paint and the sun. I mean... But again, the condition of the chrome, the bright work, usually this gets cloudy. Usually this chrome you see around the windows and doors gets kind of cloudy. And again, I, I've had cars the lowest mileage 560 SL I ever had had 9,000 miles. Um, I've had cars with 100,000 miles. I've had cars that 20, 15,000 miles. I, I can say I've never had one this nice. I've never had one this original. I've never had one um, where the paint is so nice, the lenses, and the service history. Again, someone who really took care of the car and did everything. Um, I can't tell you how many 560 SLs I bought where I did subframe mounts, motor mounts, trans mounts, sway bar end links, AC compressor. And this was a car that when I checked it out, it didn't need a single thing. Really, honestly. Everything down from the chrome, on the doors, the condition of the door panels, the um, condition of the soft top being all original, just phenomenal. Original tool kit, original first aid kit. Let's look at the wood. Again, this is not a restored car. This is a one owner car that has been well kept, garage kept, and was loved by its owners. And the owners were extremely nice people. Um, and they were just ready to downsize. And, you know, one thing I look at on these 560 SLs is if you see the color of those gauges, see how orange they are, see the color of the wood, the condition of the visors, the original grommet still in good shape, the dash being totally crack free has a factory, or I'm sorry, a dealer added a um, radar detector that no longer works, of course. 
But again, all that chrome, it's got the original Cosmoline on the door hinges. The undercarriage is immaculate. It's got service stamps. It is a car um, that I was just super happy to find. Blown away by every inch of it. And uh, yeah, if you're looking for a nice one that doesn't need anything, this is the one. Michelin tires all around, drives and runs great. Every feature works as it should. The air conditioning's cold. It's all been replaced. Um, and again, my average repair ticket total invoice on a 5.6 CSL, regardless of mileage, is about $8,500. Um, and this was a car that's had over 14,000 spin on it in the past 10,000 miles. So he did everything and anything and the condition shows. I mean, it's really, every car is a testament to its prior owner, you know? All it takes is one bad owner um, to make a car, you know, a piece of junk. And this one has been really well kept. But all right, I'll stop flapping. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Hit contact seller if I can answer any questions and hope you have a great week.